Hello there! The month of February is starting, so it's time to review what I've absolutely been loving in the month of January. So yes, it's monthly moment. Now it's the time to discuss which products I've been loving. Um, a bit of everything. I'll start with some of the skincare. If you've watched my haul, I'll link it down below. Um, you'll see that I've been, I got this Peaches and Clean uh, face wash by Super and Glory. I haven't used any other face products uh, in a very long time, but I'm really impressed with this one, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, this one says specifically deep purifying cleanser. It's actually very creamy, so it's not something to remove your makeup. It says three in one. I still don't know how it's supposed to be three in one, but anyway. But it's using it instead of a soap. Um, really impressive. It's done a really good job. Obviously, as I say that, I have a pimple here that is annoying me. But for the rest, it's cleared my skin so well. I'm really impressed, especially for something drugstore. And it's very creamy in the same time. Like, it doesn't dehydrate. Um, because it says it has something to go with peaches and everything. I guess it's the fruit extract doing a good job. But I'm really impressed. Really, really good. So it makes me want to try more of Soap and Glory skincare. Even though I have so much at the minute um, that I think it's not going to be necessary. But if you are in the look for a new face to, uh, face wash and you feel like you have, you know, a bit of impurities and clogged pores and everything, this could be a really good idea because it's very nice and it smells really lovely as well. It smells beautiful as you can guess, pitches from the name, but love. Me love, me love, me love. The other thing, because as you can guess, I've been in a battle for purifying, is this uh, little pot from the organic pharmacy. Uh, literally, look, it's been made like it's been made on purpose for me. It's the cleansing seaweed clay mask, and I don't know if you can see, but literally, um, it's like still in the powder shape. So it's one of the things I love. Organic pharmacy present their mask and um, still in um, the shape of powder. You take a little bit of the powder, you mix it with water. It keeps all the active ingredient very fresh until the very last minute. Really, really good. Um, you know, a clear mask is always very nice. It does always a great job. I do feel like this one does an amazing job for me. Um, it's been very easy actually, because in that case I would just mix a little bit in my hands, like do it quickly, it dries rather quickly, it can go very thin. Um, on your skin and like I think I feel like you know shower while I'm in the shower I brush my teeth this leaves enough time for the mask to act and then off you go by the door um, really love this one I love organic pharmacy products and this one is once again one of their products where I'm like yes where have you been all my life so yes another winner for me I'm all about clearing the skin at the minute um, another thing before we move we're moving on to hair um, something I don't even know if you get do you get chlorine in UK? Anyone knows? Like if you do, please leave me in the comment below where you're getting it. But it's their dry shampoo. What I love, I'll see if I can put it. Like you have like the top like this. You twist it, and that's where the little funnel arrives. Ooh, yeah. So basically, it's like a projecting powder. I don't know if you. Let, let's see. It's just like it doesn't have aerosol, and you just. Did you see that, guys? Did it work? I think so. Let me just redo that. So yes. I love it. It's like with um, a lot of one is how to oat milk. <laughs> Sorry, English French translation here. I uh, really love that because it doesn't have aerosol and I don't like them because they are very bad for the environment. But I need dry shampoo like absolutely everyone. So it's fantastic. You just put a little, few little puffs. Yeah, there. I think you saw that. Um, in the roots of your hair, it does brush out very, really, very well. Um, I know my hair looks very dark on camera, but I'm more towards dark blonde than brunette. Uh, I do feel like it doesn't leave this sort of white cast residue, even though I'm guessing if you have very black hair, maybe it does. But it does a really good job. It still leaves your hair like, very flexible. And it's a really, really, really good product. I love that. And um, again, chlorine isn't too expensive, at least in France. I don't know if you get it in the UK, but that's a really amazing idea because like, there's so many dry shampoos, which I think are amazing. Like, you know, that you have in the shape of it's um, lush who makes one like that, but it's so annoying because you, you always pour too much. This one finds the way of still diffusing it everywhere. I'm impressed by the packaging and really impressed by the result of how it works. Really love that. And another little product that I know you can get in UK, it's a bit more rare, but you can find it in like all the big John Lewis and Selfridges and all the things, is Phyto7, which is a hair care brand. Uh, Phyto is the brand and uh, Phyto7 is like a day cream for your hair. So what I love is that you can take the smallest amount, like literally a tiny, tiny bit like this, and rub it in your hair. It's almost like a day cream for your hair. And you know, on a daily basis, if you have dry hair, my hair is very fine but very dry, so I can't put oil in them every day, otherwise it really would 
really weigh them down and it rehydrates them, it makes them look pretty, it makes them look shiny, nourished, they are in a great state. I've been using that for years before and I sort of forgot about it and stopped using it and I sort of rediscovered it and it's like, wh why did I ever stop actually? Why did I ever, ever stop using the product? Um, and it's very nice and because you need such a little such a little amount I feel like you could probably you use them for a very long time um, I will you'll see them in my empties at some point so you can see how long it's been taking but really like that as well really good if you have fine hair which is my case uh, next I've I know I don't usually wear foundation I've been more of a quest of finding something because I feel, I feel, well, you know, it's winter, I feel very blah and everything, so... But I don't like heavy foundations, that's my nightmare, that's the thing I don't like about them. But after how many people said the Health Inc. Serum was amazing from Bourgeois, I did try it. Um, I was with a good friend of mine in a store and I tried the little tester, I was like, oh, this is really, really nice. It, it is, it is very, very nice. It's really light coverage, so do not go for that if it's something where you really want a lot of coverage, but that's the thing I absolutely love for it. It's like, I, I use like a mini piece of I never use a full pump, my god, I'm sure with a full pump I could be doing my entire body. Uh, but I use the miniest amount to just put a little bit here, a little bit around my nose, and it just sort of makes me look lo a lot better and less tired and less grey and less middle of the winter crisis time really love that it's amazing so if you're like someone who usually like tinted moisturizer but wants something maybe a little heavier this is lovely i really like that and then some lip products because obviously i can't get enough of all those little things uh the lana lips spf 15 uh rose lip color i really like that it's almost like a gloss but it isn't like glossy it's non-sticky really nourishes your lips it's very light it's it's amazing it's amazing i can't recommend this one enough and have you been using it a lot and it's a lot lighter than the normal lana lips ointment because that's the one thing i don't really like about the other one but i do like that the thing i'm wearing on my lips again one again of those lip crayon things uh, this one is the Revlon Colorbus Like a Balm things. They've been coming out. They, I, I knew they were out in the States already. They're now out in UK, which I'm very excited about. I got the shade Exuberant Vivacious. Uh, lovely. Really bright. Um, it's more towards the pink. It's like a ready pink. Really bright, really balm in your face, but it really brightens your skin uh, without making it look too serious. It's quite fun and um, lively, so I love that. When I need a little bit of a boost, or if I'm going out, or if I'm going for a drinks with a friend, and you know, I want to be perky and happy, chirpy Diane. And my last one is my Burberry lipstick. I love Burberry. Their stuff is amazing. I could look at this packaging and everything. And uh, it's the shade I got into my haul, so again, I'll link it down below. Uh, and it's the pink amber and it's a matte colour and it's been perfect for an everyday everyday look like when I want something it makes me look pretty I have so many compliments when I wear that because people are like oh your lips are amazing Ooh, la, la, la. it makes your lips, lips look very velvety so it's very nice um, so yeah as, as always I really love my love Burberry lipsticks they make me very happy um, well, there we go. Those are one of my favorites for January. Feel free to let me know what were your favorite products. Feel free to like the video as well if you liked it. And I will see you very soon for new videos. Have a good day, guys. Bye.